In this module, we'll discuss the most detailed planning elements in the dashboard system, activities. Each objective can have several activities. Activities are the most detailed level of definition of the how we do it elements. The dashboard contains three types of activities. Project-based activities were originally the only type of activity in the system. These are activities to be progressively completed over a specific period of time. They're measured by start date, end date, and percent complete. An example of a project-based activity might be to provide vaccinations to 5,000 school children between January 1, 2015 and December 31, 2015. The start date is January 1st, the end date is December 31st. If the current date is June 30th and 2,500 school children have been vaccinated, the percent complete would be 50%, right on track. As the dashboard was being implemented, we realized that there were other types of activities which had to be entered in the system. The next type of activity implemented was a quality assurance or QA activity. QA activities are activities performed on an ongoing basis and measured regularly. The activities have a frequency which may be any one of these values. QA activities also have a high and a low value and finally a metric type. An example of a QA activity might be to install 20 car seats each week. In this case the frequency is weekly. The high value might be set to 20 and the low value set to 15, indicating that if 20 or more car seats are installed, the status flag would automatically be set to green. If less than 15 seats are installed, the status flag would be set to red. If between 15 and 19 were installed, the status flag would automatically be set to yellow. QA activities are unique in that the traffic light is automatically set based on the established high and low values. The metric type in this case would be car seats installed. Quantitative measurement or QM activities were the last type implemented. These activities are very similar to project-based activities with the addition of a target number field. They have a start date, an end date, a target number, and a metric type. An example of a quantitative measurement activity could be to deliver 50 nutrition consultations between July 1, 2015 and June 30, 2016. In this case, the target number would be 50 and the metric type would be nutrition consultations. With the target number defined, the percent complete for QM activities can be automatically calculated. Project-based activities are progressively completed over a specific period of time. In addition to the same status flag levels, description, and notes as goals and objectives, project-based activities contain additional information. The activity type drop-down allows you to select project-based activity, quality assurance activity, or quantitative measurement activity types. The performance metric field defines how we'll know when the activity is on schedule or completed successfully. The activity team leader and team members are selected by clicking on the pencil button. This defines who is on the team for the activity and who's leading the team. Any number of team members can be selected. Only one team lead can be selected. Once you've made your selections, click the Save button to return to the activity screen. Like the activity team, activity partners and partner contacts can be selected for this activity. You can select just a partner organization or you can select a specific contact from a partner organization. Once you've made your selections, just hit the Save button to return to the activity screen. The Start Date and End Date fields establish the date range within which this activity will be completed. These are manual entries and can be typed in or selected from the calendar drop-down. The percent done field defines how far along the activity is within the specified date range. This value is manually entered by the team leader or team member. The activities roll-up check marks allow you to select a like set of activities to summarize at the objective level. Depending on the type of activity selected, the roll-up varies. For project-based activities, the percent done is a manual entry on the objective screen. For quality assurance activities, the average of the selected activities is calculated on the objective screen. And for quantitative measurement activities, the sum of the selected activities and the percent complete is displayed on the objective screen. Please note that only like activity types can be selected to roll up. 
For example, if you select a QA activity, the system will not allow you to select a project-based or quantitative measurement activity without first deselecting the QA activity. This is generally not an issue since most objectives contain the same activity type. QA activities have some unique information and qualities. Most of the values for a QA activity are entered using the activity wizard. First, select the frequency at which the activity will be repeated from the drop-down list. Optionally, you can set the start date for the cycle to begin. If not, it will default to today's date. Next, enter the high and low values for the activity. QA activities are unique in that the red, yellow, and green traffic light status is automatically set based on the high, low, and actual values. If the actual value is greater than or equal to the high value, the status is set to green. If it's below the low value, the light is set to red. Between low and high values, the light is yellow. Some activities, like a golf score, are better when they're lower. To facilitate this, click on the greater than or equal to or less than or equal to buttons to reverse the logic. The system will not allow you to enter values that don't make sense. If you try to enter greater than or equal to 5 and less than or equal to 20 in the system, it will notify you to adjust the values. The metric type is merely a description of what is being measured. Click the Save button to update these values. Notice that the Performance Metric field is automatically calculated from the values entered. To update the activity, just enter the current actual number and click Save. Quantitative measurement, or QM, activities are similar to project-based activities with the addition of a target number field. Most of the values for a QM activity are entered using the activity wizard. First, enter the starting date and ending date for this activity. These dates can either be typed in or entered using the calendar drop-down. Next, enter the target number for this activity. This is the number that the activity will reach over a designated time frame. The metric type again is merely a description of what is being measured. One unique feature in the QM Activity Wizard is the ability to select if the actual number entered is the entire value or will be added to the existing value. This is handy when incremental values need to be added to the overall number on a regular basis. If the overall goal is to install 50 car seats in a quarter, it may be easier to just enter the number installed each week or month instead of digging up the previous number and adding the new value. Click the Save button to update these values. Notice that the Performance Metric field is automatically calculated from the values entered. To update the activity, just enter the current actual number if the Enter New Total Value option is selected, or enter a value to add to the previous total if the Enter a New Number to Add to the Total option is selected. Then click the Save button to save the record. Thanks for reviewing the planning elements in the dashboard. In the next module, we'll review the history and performance chart screens.